Welcome, welcome back. I, I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a point P given in the rectangular form and we want to change it in polar coordinates. We said to find all polar coordinates. Uh, of course, we're going to look to this statement also. So first of all, what I'll suggest you is to make a sketch. See, this point is one and one. On the rectangular grid, let's say this is one, this is one, that will be point P. Something like that, right? Um, and then if you notice, I have some stuff here down on the bottom. What you need is this part. Okay, this part will help us to find what we call the polar coordinates. So I'm going to start with the first one. R squared equals x squared plus y squared, which in our case will be 1 squared plus 1 squared, that will be 2. So we have r equals square root of 2, and probably you should put plus, plus and minus, right? Don't forget about, about that. We're going to discuss about which one. And now we're going to move to the second part, which says tangent of theta. Uh, in this case, because you are in quadrant 1, right, in the rectangular view, you can really say tangent of theta. And that will be y over x. Um, so if we have here tangent of theta equals 1 over 1, which is 1. So how do we find the angle? <laughs> I'm using the inverse of the tangent. Okay, so in fact, I'm, I'm going to ask now, what is the angle for which the tangent is 1? That will be 45 degree or pi over 4. But like I said, now, be careful of these angles. Depends on what, what quadrant you are in, you, 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 you may need to change things. So now we have everything we need for this guy. This guy, the distance from here to here is going to be square root of 2. Right? And this angle is pi over 4. So that is one way. But as I, as I said, you have a negative square root of 2. So how is that working? Okay, so for that reason, I'm going to go on this side, right, I will rotate pi, and then I will switch this side because of this name. So that will be what? Pi over 4 plus pi, that rotation. And that will be 5 pi over 4. That is the other choice we have. And now we look into these two choices we have here. They match the interval we are asked to use. Other than that, you may want to change the things and see what your interval is. And don't forget, these polar coordinates are not unique. Even the point is unique. Okay, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.